Hi everyone. My name is Joanna Lynn Newton Tacho. I'm 43 years old and I'm a registered nurse here in the Philippines. Uh, the main objective of this video is to answer two questions. What are the main risks and adverse effects of polypharmacy in elderly? and its preventive measures okay um as a nurse who has been uh, working for 20 plus years especially sa geria department ang mga matanda talaga ay marami na silang mga medication mga maintenance na tinatawag because of their age. So, what are the risks of having uh, a lot of medication o ang dami-daming gamot? 5 to 20 and up na gamot. Kasi syempre, yung mga matatanda, meron yung diabetes, may clotting problem, may hypertension, Yung iba, meron pang mga mental health disorder. So, ang dami-dami. One, one person alone has 20 or more medications. So, anong gagawin natin? What are the risks? Of course, there is um, kidney and liver risk. Siyempre, pag nag-take ka ng something sa katawan mo, saan ba sila sasalain? Saan ba sila pupunta? Hindi naman yan sa gut ka agad. Pupunta yan sa chan mo, magme-melt yan, and then pupunta rin yan sa, sa liver mo, sasalain yan, and eventually sa kidneys mo kasi yung mga hindi nagamit ilalabas. Right? Ngayon, is, is it advisable for people or a person na magkaroon ng andami-daming medication? The answer is clinically yes, kung marami siyang problema sa katawan. Pero, sabi nga, the, the benefit should outweigh the risks. Kasi unang-una, ibibigay ng doktor yan. Hindi naman yan pasyente ang magsasabi na I will take this, I will take insulin, I will take BP meds. Dadaan niya sa mga tests and then the, the doctor will give it to you. So, is it outweighing the risks, yung mga benefits? Of course, the elderly, syempre, Iisipin mo yung ikakaprolong ng life ng, ng tao. So, yes. But of course, yung mga tao nagbibigay niyan ay mga tao din lang. The doctors. Doctors are people also. They're not, they're not perfect. And besides, sa aking experience, lalo na yung mga new doctors, hindi pa nila masyadong alam kung anong mga mangyayari pag sobra-sobrang dami ang binibigyan nilang mga medication. So, it's not really advisable kung hindi naman talaga kailangan or in emergency cases. That's why some, some of the doctors, like clinically speaking, pag hindi na kailangan ng isang medication, tinatanggal na nila. So that yung polypharmacy na tinatawag natin ay hindi masyadong makakaapekto doon sa tao na imbes na maka-help ay makakasira pa ng katawan. So that is uh, just one area of polypharmacy. Kasi kung babasihan mo yung, yung anatomy and physiology, saan ba siya dadaan? Paano siya magmimelt? Paano siya i-absorb? What if you have 25 medications? Are you taking it at once? Every hour? Every morning? Lunch, dinner? Ganun po yun. 
And of course, papano? Halimbawa, sa isang lugar, na, alam mo yung mga general practitioner, walang mga espesyalista, right? Kung ano lang binibigay ng doctor talagang blindly being followed by patient. Kasi sometimes, you know, ang mga pasyente ang tingin nila sa mga doctor ay mga parang God, God na sometimes in my experience. But in our um, hospitals that that can uh, compete worldwide like St. Luke's, Makati Med, Asian Hospital, Medical City, and the likes, meron sila mga tinatawag na clinical pharmacists and clinical nutritionist sa mga ganong hospital na mga at par with international standards kasi kailangan po yun. So, bakit kailangan may ganon? Clinical pharma pharmacist kasi kailangan mong malaman ang drug-to-drug -drug interaction. Papaliwanag yan sa pasyente It, it is the right of the patient to have an education about her or his medications, right? And we have also clinical nutritionist. Para saan? Kasi some of the medications have interactions with food. Okay? So we have clinical pharmacist and clinical nutritionist. That is one of the patient's rights. Paano? Pag taga-probinsya, nasa probinsya lang, nasa mga uh, public hospitals. So, the best they can do is follow na lang what, what the doctor said. Like, halimbawa, take after meal or take before meal. Mga ganon. Tulad ng sa diabetes. Um, if you have oral hypoglycemics, kung iinumin mo yan before ng pagkain. Or like insulin, ituturok yan before kumain. Right? And also antacids, yung sa chan. Like mga nexium, mga ganyan. Hindi mo yan pwedeng itake after eating kasi wala na masyadong bisa yan. It is nothing. So, yung mga magagawa ng mga, yung mga nasa probinsya, yung, yung, yung mga simple nga sabi that's the patient, that will the patient do, and the relatives will do. Okay? Now, to further um, explain yung preventive measures na, what are the preventive measures with a focus on medical uh, medicine safety or medical safety specifically on optimal pharmacotherapy parm and rational drug use. Yun ang ang sinasabi ko. You have to follow the time, the dose. Siyempre yung patient safety, sa kanya ba talaga yan? Baka naman sa ibang pasyente yan. And of course, sa panahon natin ngayon, ano na tayo ngayon eh? We are on scientific breakthrough. Matagal lang actually. So, there are a lot of help. Huwag lang kayong pupunta sa Dr. Google. Kasi lalo kayong mali dito. Kasi computer lang yan. It is not, it's not a real doctor. Okay guys, if you have any more question, as if naman mga kasagot, that that's the that's the main thing I can share with you of the clinical pharmacist of course your doc, doctor's order wag iinom na mga gamot na hindi naman binigay ng doktor okay actually sa mga probinsya ang mga elderly wala silang gaano mga maintenance but because of course mainly ang kinakain nila ay more on fruits and veggies they don't have uh, mga soda o mga mga liquid na hindi naman kaaya-aya they 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 are more on organic food that's why maybe their health is better kesa dito sa mga nakatira sa lungsod generally speaking okay so 
they have also exercise they they go walk they're not couch potato that's also big help sa health na ng mga tao generally okay guys hope this will help you my name is joanna i'm uh, 20, 23 years in nursing service. I am based in Makati Health. But I I am on leave because of pandemic. So, I will be back uh, on the job after pandemic. So, be safe. And have a nice day, you guys. Bye!